Okay, what baptism is not? Baptism is not sprinkling. Baptism is not pouring water over somebody's head. So in terms of what people call infant baptism, by definition, it's not baptism. It would better be termed infant sprinkling or infant pouring because baptism is immersion. And unless the child is being immersed completely in water, it's something else. It's not baptism. I'll give you a, a little help, hopefully, to help you understand if the Bible wanted to uh, teach us that baptism was equivalent to sprinkling, there is a word that is used in the Bible that's translated sprinkling. And that Greek word is proskusin. This Greek word, according to the same Greek lexicon Thayer, says a pouring or sprinkling upon, an effusion. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 28 gives us a verse that this word is used. It says there, by faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn should touch them. And uh, sprinkling is never used. This Greek word proskusin is never used to speak of Christian immersion, Christian baptism. So this is just to help clarify for you if you're new to baptism and you're confused by all the different ways that churches carry out the, the act, the different elements they use or, or whatever. Uh, this should hopefully clarify to you that baptism is immersion, okay? Baptism is not sprinkling or pouring water over somebody's head. And so in terms of whenever you come across this word baptism in the Bible, I would encourage you once again to just write the word immerse by it and understand that if the person is not being immersed in water, they're not actually being baptized. And the next study or the next episode will show very easily how you don't have to be a Greek scholar to understand this concept.